Honorable Madam President, dear Natasha, Excellences, distinguished guests from Slovenia and from Poland, I would like to thank our hosts for inviting me to take part in the Polish-Slovenian Digital Forum in Planica. I'm especially grateful to Madam President Natasha Pietz Musar for being here and for her commitment to strengthening Polish-Slovenian ties. I would also like to express my gratitude to all the organizers, speakers, and guests of today's forum. Cybersecurity and digital connectivity are of highest importance, especially in the context of the ongoing Russian aggression against Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, we consider Slovenia a close, trusted and important partner of Poland, both in terms of bilateral and regional cooperation. It needs to be highlighted that our dialogue takes place on many levels and with the involvement of many institutions as well as business communities. Slovenia is Poland's important trade partner and an excellent market for Polish products. Over the last two decades, our volume of trade has been growing systematically. We appreciate the fact that Slovenia is a key destination for Polish companies looking to expand and grow. More and more Polish entrepreneurs are seeing Slovenian market as a chance for boosting their businesses or as a corridor to other destinations. At the same time, Poland looks very much forward to welcoming Slovenian investors. We encourage Slovenian entrepreneurs to use the instruments offered under the Polish Investment Zone facility, such as tax ex exemptions, subsidies, or financial and training support from local labor office. Although our cooperation is going very well, there is still some room for improvement. Poland sees high potential for expanding our ties, especially in the ICT, cybersecurity, logistics, and transport sectors. Many Polish companies are interested in participating in Slovenian infrastructure projects and our know-how may prove useful in the cybersecurity of the banking sector. Other areas of cooperation may include innovations in energy transition and climate protection. I'm convinced that joint Polish-Slovenian research projects can bring tangible benefits for both parties. Like this. And gentlemen. Like Slovenia, Poland attaches great importance to regional cooperation. The Three Cs initiative and its objectives provide great potential for the development of the Polish Slovenian infrastructure connections stretching from the Baltic to the Adriatic Sea. We also start our discussions on developing strategic digital infrastructure, strengthening the region's cybersecurity and expanding net zero technologies. I am glad that these topics, among others, were chosen for today's forum in Planet. Both Poland and Slovenia are exposed to attacks in cyberspace with the current situation in the region, the main determinant of which is Russian aggression against Ukraine. Therefore, it's worth, it's worth very good experience and good practices in this area. Innovative solutions offered by Polish companies can meet the needs of the Slovenian market and can contribute
contribute to bilateral projects in the field of information and communications technology, industrial cybersecurity, code security, identity verification, cryptography, or artificial intelligence. Dear Madam President, Excellencies, I hope that today's event will also be an excellent opportunity to seek synergies between technology providers from digital sector. I look forward to the development of Polish-Slovenian cooperation and I wish you many new business ideas.